So in this week's WordPress tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can add a subscription form to your WordPress website like the one that you see here on this page. So um, when you want to have subscribers or have an email list for your website, it's a great thing to collect. They keep on saying that email marketing actually is uh, still getting results. Um, so it's really important to kind of grow your email list. And um, if you don't want or if you're not familiar with MailChimp or other email providers, then actually a simple subscribe to your post is a really easy way when you're getting started to um, collect subscribers and collect email addresses. And so I'm going to show you a plugin that you can use very easily that will let you collect email addresses and um, automatically send them post updates when uh, there are new posts. So this is a really awesome plugin for those starting out called the Subscribe To plugin. And um, it also does email management and a whole bunch of cool things. So I'll show you what it looks like. So once you install it through the plugins um, and add new, search for Subscribe To plugin, and you will now uh, see in your widget settings, appearance widgets. Um, on the left hand side, there'll now be this new widget which is called the subscribe to widget. So you'll drag and drop it from the left hand side into your active sidebar. So for this theme, this is my active sidebar on the page. And uh, if you push the down arrow on the widget, you'll get a, a lot of options for adding your title, the content before and after the form, and um, a few other options here. So you just save that. If you want, um, you could also add the subscribe to post on a page. If you go to your any, any page now, um, let's say this one, projects page. So now I have this new um, this new button here. Here I'll move this, and that'll add a subscribe form to the page. So um, if you don't see that, that's actually also a settings. And um, how to find your settings now is there's this new subscribe to button, and you'll just click on settings here. So um, like I said, you can um, set different times that you want to send out your emails. If you want to do it, if you only post maybe uh, twice a week and you want to send out uh, your subscribers uh, update for your posts, then that's a good option. Um, if you're doing a lot of posts, maybe you don't want to bug people as much, you can do it uh, maybe only weekly something. So there's different options there and um, you get to kind of work with the templates. So these are the templates of uh, what gets sent out to your email list and you can also edit the confirmation page and when people unsubscribe. So yeah, there's some different options for the um, the email subscribe form and actually this is an important page right here. So I created a page and I just call it subscription confirmation and you'll see that that page gets hit every time that there is, uh, it gets redirected to. Um, actually, just let me show you. So uh, here it is in action. So I, I'm using this other browser because I'm signed in as admin on that and my Chrome browser and you won't be able to see the form when you are signed in. So, uh, and you won't be able to test it out as different users. So um, in a different, if you want to test it out in a different browser, here I will submit my email and I'll click subscribe and see, you'll get a little notification here and you also get redirected to this page. So that's the page that I created in my website and I under the, um, the appearance tab, you can set that page. And then once I go to my email, I'll see that I have a email from my website and the user uh, must click to confirm that they enter their email address. This is kind of with spam policies for most um, email subscription services. And then I get also re redirected to the same page, thanks for subscribing. Now, back in the back end, if I go to my subscribers list, I can see that I have that new subscriber. 
And so if later down the road you want to use something like MailChimp or Campaign Monitor, you can actually export this by CVS, C, CSV, which is just an Excel file, and that you can import that into MailChimp and maybe, maybe later down the road if you have some more sophisticated emails. Um, and then, yeah, so here's the other um, feature I mentioned, is if you want to send a quick email to all your subscribers, just saying something really simple. Um, so as you can see, it doesn't give you a lot of options. You can include in file, but it doesn't give you a lot of templating options, like something like MailChimp would. But this is a really easy way to start out, a really easy way to start growing your list and get subscribers and get people um, connected with your website. So that was the subscribe to plugin. And uh, if you like this video and you want some more WordPress tips, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube page and I have um, updates every week on WordPress. So thanks so much.